good morning students today we are going to do the chapter the summer of the beautiful white horse in this chapter the author tells us the story of two cousins aram and murad both of them are from the gargolian tribe which is known for its honesty all over the world even if they were very poor yet they were not thief and they would never steal now this horse is stolen by murad but he says it is not stealing because for him he says the stealing money is called stealing horse we have only taken for a ride and after we learn riding we will return it back we are not selling the horse so it's not stealing now we go on with our chapter one day back there in the good old days when i was 9 and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence and life was still a delightful and mysterious dream my cousin morad who was considered crazy by everybody who knew him except me came to my house at 4 in the morning and woke me up tapping on the window of my room aram se he said i jumped out of the bed and looked out of the window i couldn't believe what i saw it was in morning yet but it was summer and with daybreak not many minutes around the corner of the world it was light enough for me to know i wasn't dreaming now what happened one day suddenly murad came and he is talking about when aram was 9 years old he said that he was sleeping and during the dawn time morad came and he tapped on his uh, window and when he jumped out and he saw he said i couldn't believe i thought i was dreaming but i knew that i was not dreaming because out of the light i could see he saying us time aise umar hoti hai when we see dream we imagine things and i felt as if i was imagining but you know it wasn't imagination it wasn't dreaming jo maine dekha now let's see what did he see my cousin morad was sitting on a beautiful white horse i stuck my head out of the window and rubbed my eyes yes he said in armenian it's a horse you are not dreaming make it quick if you want to ride i knew my cousin morad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake but this was more than even i could believe in the first place my earliest memories had been memories of horses and my first longings had been longings to ride this was the wonderful part he saying yes maine kya dekha i saw that my cousin morad he was sitting on a horse it was a white horse and a very beautiful horse mujhe aisa laga ki main dream kar raha hu because main morad ko janta tha i knew him and i said it cannot be a mistake i could not believe aur meri hamesha se memories thi i always longed for a horse and i wanted to ride it and when i saw this it was a very wonderful part in the second place we were poor this was the part that wouldn't permit me to believe what i saw we were poor we had no money our whole tribe was poverty stricken every branch of the gargolian family was living in the most amazing and comical poverty in the world nobody could understand where we ever got money enough to keep us with food in our bellies not even the old men of the family most important of all though we were famous for our honesty we had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries even when we had been the wealthiest family in what we like to think was the world we were proud first honest next and after that we believed in right and wrong none of us would take advantage of anybody in the world let alone steal now what happened ki hum log itne poor the we were so poor we were in such poverty poverty aur puri gargolian family hai na poverty mein thi everyone knew isiliye meri eyes believe nahi kar rahi thi ki is it a dream because even i knew how could murad bring a horse हम लोग के पास पेट भरने के लिए पैसे नहीं थे वी डिड नॉट हैव मनी टू फिल आर स्टमक्स एंड हाउ कुड अ हॉर्स बी बॉन्ट 
मतलब मुझे बड़ा अचंबा हो रहा था और उधर वी वो वेरी ऑनेस्ट आ गोरगल इन फैमिली वॉज नोन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड फॉर इट्स ऑनेस्टी कुछ भी हो जाए पर हम लोग हमेशा ऑनेस्ट थे इवन वेन वी वो पुअर और वेदर वेन वी वो अवेल दी इलेवेंथ सेंचुरी से सबको मालूम था कि गार्गोलियन फैमिली इज द मोस्ट ऑनेस्ट फैमिली एंड वी नेवर डिड राइट और रॉन्ग वी वो ओनलीज डिड वॉट एवर वॉज राइट वी नेवर टुक एडवांटेज ऑफ एनी वन हमने किसी का फायदा नहीं उठाया और स्टील तो हो ही नहीं सकता वी कैन नेवर स्टील कॉन्सिक्वेंटली इवन दो आई कुड सी द हॉर्स सो मैग्निफिशेंट इवन दो आई कुड स्मेल इट सो लवली Even though I could hear it breathing, so exciting, I couldn't believe the horse had anything to do with my cousin Morad, or with me, or with any of our other members of our family, asleep or awake, because I knew my cousin Morad couldn't have brought the horse, and if he couldn't have bought it, he must have stolen it, and I refused to believe he had stolen it. वो horse मेरे पास इतना near था कि I could see the horse. वो इतना magnificent था. I could मतलब मैं उसको ब्रीथ करते हुए सुन सकता था और मेरी मैं उसको स्मेल कर सकता था मैं बिलीव ही नहीं कर सकता था कि मुराद के पास ये हॉर्स कैसे क्योंकि वो बाय तो कर नहीं सकता और मैं ये बिलीव नहीं कर सकता कि उसने स्टील किया होगा ही मस्ट हैव स्टोलन बिकॉज नो मेंबर ऑफ आ गार्गोलियन ट्राइब इज अ थीफ आई स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट एट माई कजन देन एट द हॉर्स दे वॉज अ पायर स्टीलनेस एंड यू माई इन ईच ऑफ देम which of the one hand delighted me and on the other hand frightened me ab kya hua ek bar main usko dekh raha tha ek bar horse ko dekh raha ek bar horse ko dekh raha ek bar usko dekh and really it was very beautiful and very still aur bilkul silent part tha but ek side se i am delighted to see the horse because meri jo memories thi wo fulfill ho gayi and on the other side i was frightened also Murad I said where did you steal this horse leap out of the window he said if you want to write it was true that he had stolen the horse there was no question about it he had come to invite me to ride or not as i chose well it seemed to me stealing a horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing something else such as money for all i knew maybe it wasn't stealing at all if you were crazy about horses the way my cousin murad and i were it wasn't stealing it couldn't become stealing until we offered to sell the horse which of course i knew we would never do let me put on some clothes i said all right he said but hurry i leaped into my window of clothes i jumped down to the yard from the window and leaped up onto the horse behind my cousin morad ab morad ne bola jaldi aa jao i asked morad ki did you steal the horse he did not give me any answer he only told me if you want to ride jaldi se aa jao अब मैं अपने आप के मन को समझा रहा था कि नो इट कैन नॉट बी स्टीलिंग आफ्टर ऑल माई कजन कैन नॉट स्टील हाँ स्टीलिंग अ हॉर्स एंड स्टीलिंग मनी कुछ डिफरेंट होता है वी आर नॉट सेलिंग द हॉर्स वी आर ओनली डूइंग इट बिकॉज वी आर क्रेजी अबाउट द हॉर्सेज एंड वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न राइडिंग इसलिए उसको हम स्टीलिंग तो कह नहीं सकते सो यू आई सेट कि ओके आई पुट ऑन माई क्लोज एंड आई एम खमिंग that year we lived at the edge of the town on william avenue behind our house was the country vineyards orchards irrigation ditches and country roads in less than 3 minutes we were on the olive avenue and then the horse began to trot the air was new and lovely to breathe the feel of the horse running was wonderful my cousin morad who was considered one of the craziest members of the family began to sing i mean he began to roar every family was a crazy strict in it some way and my cousin morad was considered of the natural descent descendant of the crazy strict in our tribe before him was our uncle kosro an enormous man with a powerful head of black hair and the largest mustache in the san joaquin valley too a man so furious in temper so irritable so impatient that he stopped anyone from talking by roaring it's no harm paying no attention to it Now see, we lived at Walnut Avenue, or हमारे घर के पीछे. It was fully country, vineyards थे, orchards, irrigation ditches. 
कंट्री रोड्स एंड विद इन थ्री मिनट्स जैसे ही मैंने हॉस पे बैठा वी केम टू द ऑलिव एवेन्यू एंड फ्रॉम देर द हॉस स्टार्ट ट्रॉटिंग एंड वी वेंट अराउंड आई फेल्ट अराउंड द मेडोज अराउंड द इरीगेशन कैनल्स अराउंड द वाइनर्स एंड इन द कंट्री साइड और मतलब द एयर वी वो फीलिंग वॉज वेरी न्यू एंड लवली टू ब्रीथ और सबसे बड़ी बात ये थी कि जो हमारी फैमिली में हमेशा एक क्रेजी स्ट्रिक होता था एक कोई ऐसा क्रेजी फेलो होता था मुराद था मुराद से पहले मैं हमारे अंकल कौसरो ही वॉज सच अ अंकल कौसरो तो ऐसे थे कि इफ एनी वन ट्राई टू टॉक ही वुड गेट इरीटेटेड ही वुड गेट एंग्री और एक ही चीज़ चिल्लाते थे स्टॉप इट्स नो हार्म पे नो अटेंशन टू इट दैट वॉज ही वुड कीप ऑन से that was all no matter what anybody happened to be talking about once it was his own Ar- son arak running eight blocks to the barber shop where his father was having his mustache trimmed to tell him their house was on fire this man kosro sat up in the chair and roared it's no harm pay no attention to it the barber said but the boys say your house is on fire so kosro roared enough it is no harm i say my cousin morad was considered the natural descendant of this man Although Morad's family was Zorab who was practical and nothing else that's how it was in our tribe a man could be the father of his own son's flesh but that did not mean that he was also the father of his spirit the distribution of the various kinds of spirits of our tribe had been from the beginning capricious and vagrant now what happened ki ek baar one day what happened माई अंकल कॉसरो वॉज ऑन द बाबा शॉप ट्रिमिंग हिज मुस्टैच एंड उसका सन अराक ही केम रनिंग और उसने अपने फादर को बोला फादर फादर आ होल हाउस इज ऑन फायर एंड यू नो वॉट द बाबा सेट आर ए डोंट केयर अबाउट इट कुछ नहीं है इट्स नो हार्म बाबर सेट कि आपका सन बोल रहा है योर हाउस इज ऑन फायर ही सेंग इनफ इट्स नो हार्म Now cousin Morad also was his natural descendant. Morad's father Zorab was a very practical man, and that's how it's in a tribe. Cheduri nahi hai. Yes, he is his father, but wo uske spirit ke father to nahi ho sakte. So it is that way only in our race. We rode, and my cousin Morad sang for all anybody knew. We were still in the old country. where at least according to some of our neighbors we belonged we let the horse run as long as kept my brother the kept on singing really me wo gana nahi tha it was roaring but he kept on doing that and we kept on going towards the countryside which once they said ki ye sab hamara tha at last my cousin mora said get down i want to ride alone will you let me ride alone i said That's up to the horse my cousin said get down the horse will let me ride i said we shall see i said don't forget that i have a way with the horse well i said any way you have with the horse i have also for the sake of your safety he said let us hope so get down now what happened mora said ki i want to ride alone aur isiliye tum utar jao so i told my brother that will you allow me also to ride alone well that depends on the horse to bole why the horse will allow me बोले ये नहीं मालूम है बिकॉज आई हैव अ गुड वे विद द हॉर्स मैं हॉर्सेस को कैसे संभालता हूँ दे नो माई टॉक दे डू वॉट आई से आई डोंट नो अबाउट यू आई गॉट डाउन एंड माई कजन मोराद किक इज हिल्स इन टू द हाउस एंड शाउट इट वज ही रे रन द हॉर्स टूड ऑन इज हिल्स लैंग्स टॉन्ट इट एंड बर्स इन टू फ्यूरी ऑफ स्पीड दैट वॉज द लवलीस्ट थिंग आई डेवर सीन My cousin Morad raced the horse across a field of dry grass to an irrigation ditch, crossed the ditch of the horse, and five minutes later returned, stopping wet. Now what happened? Usne he got down, and then Morad sat down on the horse and he said, "Waziri, run!" Or fir wo they started over the fields, over the irrigation ditch, and he was. And he said, "It was really beautiful moment. बहुत अच्छा था देखने को. और वो horse सब जगह गया." और उसके बाद पाँच मिनट के बाद आके ट्रिपिंग वेट पूरा गीला था एंड ही केम बैक 
The sun was coming up. Now it's my turn to ride, I said. My cousin Morad got off the horse. Right, he said. He said, Ab mirad bari hai. Ab mujhe ride karne do. And sun was also coming up. I leaped to the back of the horse and for a moment I knew the most awful fear imaginable. The horse did not move. Kick into his muscles, my cousin Mora said, What are you waiting for? We have got to take him back before anybody in the world is up and about. Ab kya hua mein bata? I tried but horse did not move. So my ma- uh, Mora said, That kick in his muscles or jaldi karo because we have to return back the horse. I kicked into the muscles of the horse. Once again it reared and snorted. Then it began to run. I didn't know what to do. Instead of running across the field to an irrigation ditch, the horse ran down the road to the vineyard of Dickren Halabin, where it began to leap over vines. The horse leaped over seven vines before life. Then it continued running. Usne to achanak kya kya. It did not go to the fields and all and it just ran into the vineyard. Seven vines it ran and then what happened? It dropped me down and it continued running. My cousin Marat came running. He said, I'm not worried of you. He said, I'm not worried of you. Chalo, we have to get that horse back. You go this way and I will go this way. If you come upon him, be kindly. I'll be near. So, then, both of them went to their horses from the other, other both sides. And now, we'll continue with the chapter in our next video.